Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve an issue you're experiencing on your Windows computer where it says alert system battery voltage is low and then it might say strike the F1 key to continue, F2 to run the setup utility, or F5 to run the onboard diagnostics. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is going to be mostly a verbal tutorial here, guys. So just take note of that. I'm really not going to be showing much on the screen here. So first thing I recommend doing would be actually to replace the CMOS battery. So if you don't know what that is or you need a little bit of guidance, you can go on my channel. I explain a little bit about what that is. And you can go on Google and look up your specific computer manufacturer's CMOS battery about how to replace it or swap it out. So that's one thing I'd take a look into if you have an extra one lying around. Something else, just by taking it out and putting it back in would reset it. So even that could hopefully resolve the problem. Something else you always want to look into would be to go into your BIO settings and make sure your date and time settings are correct. Again, check out that. So that's one more thing to take a look into. But generally speaking, it has to do with the CMOS battery. So, I mean, that's really all there really is to say about it. So it usually has to do with the battery, not having enough power to run your computer. So if there's a sensor that's not working properly, it's certainly a potential issue. As this is definitely a hardware-related issue, it's really not a software-related issue, unless you consider adjusting the BIOS date and time settings. But generally speaking, you're probably going to have to replace the CMOS battery. I like to think it's a pretty straightforward process, guys. It shouldn't take you very long if you have to open up your computer and replace it. If you're not comfortable with that, you're welcome to hire or seek out the assistance of the computer technician. But there's too many different computers, makes and models to show how to do them on all different computers. But again, very simple process. Google your specific make and model of computer and just how to replace or reset your CMOS battery, which basically just take it out of your computer, put it back in carefully. It looks like a watch battery, basically. It's pretty standard. You'll recognize it probably if I have other batteries like it around your home. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.